Happening at this hour, a Jacksonville club is officially closed tonight after years of complaints from neighbors nearby. Mascara's Gentlemen's Club held the last celebration yesterday to bring in the new year. So on your side, Tristan Hardy had been covering this story all day and he spoke with the owner about why they decided to close. The club is closed, but the lights are still on. Nobody's inside and people in the neighborhood say it's about time. As for the general manager, he says he's moving on. Complaints involving loud music, shootings, and alleged drug use. Good riddance. We don't want no more of those type of clubs in our neighborhood. One local woman who lives near the club says her neighbors can finally get some sleep. She wanted to remain anonymous, so she talked to us on the phone. We're glad right that was his phone, and so is a lot of other people right here, including businesses. To city leaders, Mascaras was the catalyst to incidents happening in the area. They even called for an investigation into the business. This place breeds problems and they don't do anything about it. Hey, listen, I'm glad the people in the, in the community are, are, are feeling more safe. First Coast News caught up with Frank Colion. He's the general manager of the club. To the Jacksonville businessman, the scrutinization of mascaras was a misunderstanding. I always wanted JSO to be a part of patrolling the club so the customers and the community could feel safe. but. Because of the nature of our business, we can't get officers. Coleon says Mascaras had to close because insurance companies did not want to provide its services. The club was labeled as high risk. What's next after Mascaras, Frank? What's next? Everything. Now neighbors and Coleon can start the new year by leaving the club behind. Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side. I keep saying it's 